Hello everyone. So today we will discuss about arterial supply of uveal tract. So the arterial supply of the uveal tract is mainly derived from three sets of arteries. The two being posterior ciliary arteries and the one the anterior ciliary artery. The posterior ciliary artery is the short one is the short one one is the long one and as the name suggests the short posterior artery do not reach up to the iris it terminates at vortex so it supplies it passes through the uh, supracoroidal space on both sides due to lack of space i have only drawn one half of the eye as you may see so it travels through the supracoroidal space up to the vortex on both sides and divides into several branches and these several branches supply our choroid in a segmental manner this is what short posterior ciliary artery does means our choroid is supplied now comes the part of our ciliary body and iris so let's go on with it the long posterior ciliary arteries are very important and you will understand sooner the long posterior ciliary artery obliquely enters in the supracoroidal space to travel forward these are long so they travel up to the iris root and uh, along their pathway they supply the ciliary body so our ciliary body is also supplied now remains the iris but it was not it is not that easy that uh, it will directly supply our iris the anterior ciliary arteries which are derived from our muscular branches if you want more detail on this go on with ophthalmic artery video this will make it a lot easier so anterior ciliary arteries these are the one which are derived from the muscular branches that arise from the ophthalmic artery so ophthalmic artery gives several muscular branches these are two from the inferior rectus two from superior two from medial and the only one branch from the lateral rectus so these um, arise from the anterior ciliary artery and these anterior ciliary artery along with the long posterior ciliary artery form a plexus in the iris root and this plexus is what is shown here in the iris root okay this is what is known as circulus arteriosus major this supplies the major part of iris after this is supplied the radial vessels from this runs mid runs radially and these vessels are the one which forms a minor plexus around the pupillary margin and supplies whole of the iris so this is the uh, blood supply of the iris Thank you.